Hi, this is Shannon Aducci, FN Style Director. I'm here with Coach's Executive Creative Director, Stuart Vivers. We're here to talk about his time at the brand. You have really ushered in this exciting new era for Coach. And you came to the brand in 2013 mm -hmm. when the brand was sort of at the beginning of a rebirth. Tell us a little bit about how you continued that renaissance. Yeah, I was, I mean, I was really brought in to start a new chapter uh, for the house and, and that's what really excited me. Um, the first thing that I did was to introduce fashion to, to Coach. Um, so we introduced uh, Ready to Wear uh, for the first time in the brand's history um, and showed at New York Fashion Week for the first time. And this was really about um, uh, showing the, a complete identity for the house and you know to, to story tell about our, our house and what we do um, but to introduce um, the new coach muse um, uh, which uh, the coach is really about an optimistic joyful inclusive um, free-spirited New York attitude um, coach has such a strong legacy mm -hmm. How do you affect change on a brand without mm -hmm. compromising the heritage? Mm -hmm. I think um, when I very first joined Coach, the, the house was really ready for change. There was a real appetite for change. And I think that's one of the things that appealed to me about joining. Um, I, knew, um, uh, I knew a certain amount um, about the heritage of, of Coach. Um, every a brand that I've worked for has had coach bags in its inspiration archive, um, particularly from the 60s and 70s uh, when Bo Bonnie Cashin was the designer for coach. When I joined, I, I of course visited that archive, spent time in there, but I felt it was a moment for coach to look forward. So I, I used the archive as a touchstone, as a reference to, to find a truth, to find things that felt right for the brand but I felt it was really important to, to look forward. Lately, the brand has had some really big names attached to its ad campaigns. Mm -hmm. Celebrities like Selena Gomez, mm -hmm. Michael B. Jordan, and now J-Lo. Mm -hmm. Why is she the right fit for Coach right now? Well, she's a New Yorker, like us, um, so that immediately felt like an authentic connection. I think, you know, she, Jennifer is an original. She's set her own path, and I think that's, that's for me what really appeals. It's like, um, it's that, you know, the authenticity of her being a, a native New Yorker like us, but someone who I think is really aspirational because she's, she, you know, she's really created her own path and really um, there's something very inspiring about that. Stuart, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, thank you.